Some of the biggest things we can do to boost our testosterone, increase your dietary mineral consumption, magnesium, calcium, and boron. Zinc, absolute powerhouse of a mineral, really a key to building testosterone. On this episode, we're gonna talk about how to increase testosterone and weight loss with a carnivore diet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down this concept of understanding how testosterone and weight loss interact with, with each other. So if you wanna learn, stick around. At the end, we're gonna really kind of tie things up and really finish off with some really good practical tips. Testosterone is not just this muchacho hormone. It's actually a key hormone in the human body for anabolic signaling, for your libido, and for your body mass index, as well as your bone strength, your muscle strength. And as you age and as you get older, it becomes harder to maintain muscle mass. And we see a deterioration, something called sarcopenia, in individuals that is a major risk factor for more mortality. It's basically when you lose muscle mass and you become more frail and your bones become less dense, those are all signs of just getting older and not maintaining a healthy, robust vitality. And so for me, it's not about becoming just this huge buff person with big muscles. It's really about maintaining my body's vitality, my energy, and my longevity. And when we're talking about weight loss in particular, Testosterone has a very unique relationship in that equation. The other thing I'll mention is it's not just males. We think of testosterone and we think of just how important it is for male reproductivity and male libido, but females who have low testosterone also have low libido, can have lower muscle mass, can have issues with bone density and their hormone balance. So it's important to have testosterone at robust, healthy levels in both male and female physiology. Females obviously have less testosterone than men because one of the primary producers of testosterone and the way it works within the male body is through testes and the production there. So it is something that is in higher concentrations in men, but it's not a hormone that women should be avoiding and not looking at. It's definitely something that can affect both of us from how our vitality is as well as our weight loss perspective. So testosterone has a huge role in weight loss. In fact, we see a relationship that's directly correlated with people who are obese, overweight severely, and people who have low testosterone. Type two diabetes, the type of diabetes where you accumulate it through your diet and lifestyle. Diabetics are twice as likely to have low levels of testosterone and much more subcutaneous fat, the kind of fat that you see in the visceral area within your organs, in your gut, in your belly, the beer belly, if you will. And so it's, it's a big variable to, to look into from a weight loss perspective. And it's a vicious cycle. If you have excess body weight, if you're obese, you are directly at risk for having lower testosterone. Now on the flip side, if you have elevated testosterone, you're much more likely to be leaner and have lower body fat percentage and a better composition in terms of muscle to body fat. So low body fat equals higher testosterone, High body fat equals lower testosterone. It's this cycle. When you get on to one direction, your body deteriorates. And this is often what we see in the, in the community with people and their health. They end up having bad health habits where they're not moving, they're not getting sunlight, they're not eating a wholesome real food diet, and they have stress, they have other factors that contribute to this, and they deprioritize these pillars of, of wellness, if you will, and the hormones feed into the way their body is going, and then their body is going in a way where hormones get downregulated and they're not optimal for being healthy and losing weight. So how do we break this vicious cycle? How do we get out of this? How do we snap out of it? Well, a lot of people will use exogenous hormones. They'll actually look at things like selective androgen receptors, they'll look at actually TRT therapy, testosterone replacement, testosterone replacement hormone therapy. I don't think this is the answer. I think this is a very high risk game to play. I don't think it's good for your body or your long-term health to be exogenously pumping yourself with hormones when you're not getting the hormones in the native way that your body would naturally produce them you need to fix the source of what's going on. I really believe that the best way to take back your health and optimize yourself is to adjust your lifestyle, adjust your priorities and your values to really focus on the things that are causing this. And I talk about this at length in my book because I believe that emotionally, a lot of us become maladaptive in mechanisms that cause us to eat emotionally, or we just build habits that are very difficult to crack 
through, through our lifestyle and through our conditioning and through our overall arching just approach to how we want to live that do not fuel this. So I, I highly encourage you to check out the book if you haven't. There's a link in the video description, but I'm going to give you some practical tips here now and we're going to go into this and just see how we can boost testosterone and, and talk more about how to get weight loss as a byproduct of that. So I have several videos on weight loss. I highly recommend you check those out. Just a quick primer. The reason that testosterone and weight loss are combined in this video and why we're talking about it is because testosterone plays a key role as do all hormones in your body in the weight loss equation. Weight loss for a human is not just about reducing the amount of food you eat, eating at a deficit. You have to dial in the metabolic machine so that it's running optimally. We have evolved over millions of years with a body that is designed when we reduce food consumption to slow down our metabolic rate. If we don't change the food we're eating to tell our body that we are thriving to eating real wholesome foods, our body is going to store just like a bear would go eating berries and all these foods before it goes into hibernation, gaining massive amounts of weight, or a baby would put on massive amounts of weight during a massive growth phase we're not going to be having the signals in our body to properly tap into our fat reserves. We need to lower insulin levels. We need to upregulate the anabolic hormones that allow us to build muscle and to burn fat. And in order to do that, we have to live a life where we give ourselves those building blocks. Finally, to the kind of the meat of this practical advice of the video, what are some of the biggest things we can do to boost our testosterone and cater to this weight loss? Well, here's where the carnivore diet comes in. Zinc is a absolute powerhouse of a mineral that our body needs to produce testosterone. The, the richest foods in zinc are going to be animal foods. Oysters are exceptionally high in zinc. Red meat, beef, lamb, bison, poultry, all these meats are going to have zinc within them. Eating a diet rich in zinc is going to boost your testosterone levels. It's going to help also with your immune system, speaking of which, and it's going to give you a lot of of some of the key minerals and molecules that you need in your body to actually create testosterone. So make sure you're getting a zinc rich diet and that you're getting that essential mineral in consumption, ideally through carnivore foods because they're the most bioavailable without all the negatives. On this point of minerals, increase your dietary mineral consumption of magnesium, calcium, and boron. These are all critical as well to building testosterone. There's several videos and articles about boron in particular, boosting testosterone levels, but calcium and magnesium are also really important in your body as well to have in balance and get exogenously from your spring water, from your diet. Where do you get magnesium? Where do you get calcium? Well, you can get it in some of the best forms from spring water and also from animal foods. In particular, magnesium is found in spring water. It's also found in the meat the muscle meat of animals, as well as the blood. So the blood can be in the meat as well. So magnesium is great to find and source from those parts of animals, whether it's beef, pork, poultry, all those foods are gonna have magnesium. Calcium is a little bit more unique. I eat eggshells personally. You can eat eggshells, you can make bone broth, you can also get it from a high quality spring water. Uh, but I think it's important to add it additionally through eating something like an eggshell or through adding in some bone broth with your regimen on your meal from time to time to make sure you're kind of getting a sufficient amount of the bones, if you will, which is where the majority of calcium is stored in the animal. And boron is another one that's kind of tricky to get, but you're gonna get a lot more of it from things like bone broth in the bones. So boron is really stored in the animal bones. That's where you're gonna get it. So when you make bone broth, it's gonna come through in the, the actual broth itself and the bones that you can consume from that broth that are soft enough to kind of chew up and consume. Another huge point to boosting testosterone and your weight loss is vitamin D. Vitamin D3 is only found in animal foods and through ultraviolet B radiation in the sun that you then synthesize into vitamin D3 formation within your body. In fact, sunlight is probably the most important nutrient that you can utilize to get vitamin D3. Now, if you live up north, don't worry. I actually recommend some light tanning, not extreme tanning, don't burn yourself, but get some light sun exposure from a tanning facility. If you have a bed that's rated at 10 or 15 minutes, go in there for a couple minutes. Try to do that a few times a week. If you really can't go outside and you really can't get the vitamin D3 exposure from sunlight, 
but sunlight is critical. And vitamin D3 is actually classified as not even technically a vitamin. It's something our body utilizes for hormones and our immune function and it's really a key to building testosterone. When you build testosterone, you have vitamin D3, you're also going to fuel your weight loss and your body composition into a much leaner physique and profile. Optimize your sleep. Sunshine will help you do this. Getting a diet that's balanced and free of triggering autoimmune triggering foods like some of the plant toxins we know about, as well as animal foods that are rich in the essential amino acids, the, the zinc and the, the minerals that we need is going to help you sleep better. You're going to get with the sunshine and, and optimizing your sleep, you're really going to dial it in. Consider going to bed earlier. Earlier bedtimes lead to deeper, longer, deep sleep, and that's actually going to impact when you produce the majority of your testosterone, which actually gets produced while you're sleeping. So if you want your body to naturally have a good composition and you wanna lose weight and have higher robust levels of testosterone, respect your sleep and treat it ancestrally limit artificial light exposure. We've only been experiencing this for about 150 years since the first light bulb was invented. Limit blue light, wear blue blockers if you have to, dim your phone, dim your screens all the way down once the sun sets. Turn down the temperature of your room when you're sleeping and make it really dark. You have photoreceptors on your, on your skin. You have photoreceptors on your skin that actually trigger your skin telling yourself in your body that you are in a daylight situation, even if you're sleeping. Exercise, there's a lot of studies out there where if you exercise and move, lift heavy, activate your biggest muscle groups, your quads, your hamstrings, parts of your legs, you're going to boost testosterone levels. Avoid refined sugars. This is just a no-brainer across the board for your health. We know that refined sugars, carbohydrates, things like that, that are refined in particular, are going to be damaging to testosterone levels and weight loss in particular. They're gonna elevate insulin levels, they're gonna lower testosterone levels. Both of those are really bad for hormones and you're signaling if you want to tap into the fat cells that have fat stores and burn fat for fuel and get leaner. Avoid alcohol or reduce the consumption. I just did a video about how to cheat, so I recommend watching that if you have some real temptations and issues with cutting out booze. In general, alcohol is gonna disrupt your sleep, it's going to affect your hormones in a negative way it's gonna have a major impact and there's really not a benefit to it people say a glass of wine is helpful there's a lot of negatives in wine so i would say be careful limit your consumption try to dial it down nightcaps do not help you sleep better they may sedate you but they're not going to benefit you in terms of getting high quality sleep and run away from phytoestrogens things like soy tofu lentils berries a lot of berries have phytoestrogens rice beans carrots these foods actually interact with your body and look like molecules of hormones and they mess up your signaling and they mess up the way your body utilizes hormones you want to limit eliminate them from your diet as much as possible so i hope those tips were helpful they're very practical if you do these things you are going to see changes in your weight you are going to see changes in your testosterone and you can dial them in. There's plenty of videos on the channel here. There's resources in my book. I highly encourage you to check them out. All this information is really what you need. This is the power. And the beautiful thing of a lot of this is you're not buying anything. You don't have to go see a doctor. You can literally change your lifestyle and your food and your consumption and just stop eating a lot of the things that you're eating and you will magically allow your body to reset, to heal, to adjust and make changes. So if you made it this far, thank you so much. Hit that like button, comment down below if you have any tips on how you have boosted your testosterone or upped your weight loss in terms of your goals. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon. And until next time, let's get optimized.